Hey, this is John Yu, aka Boomi Trader. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Happy New Year, everyone. So we're we're here to talk about the movers and top losers and the top winners for the week, the first three days of the week. Um, kahit na last Friday pwede rin, but we're just here to talk about yung but sila umakyat. We're here to talk about ang um, reasons reasons but but mo ba ng malaki but umakyat ng malaki. So it's just an an avenue for us to get updated with the market. So it's all technical based and uh, we're going to talk about if may news, may news driven move or not or what not. So um, there's no stock recommendations here just to update you guys on the um, Philippine stock market movers. Okay, so let's get on to our charts. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so Apex we're here. We saw this move today, but it moved last week. So the start of the year, it was strong, 15%, 12%, and now it's continuing to move. So this is because of the um in Tiburo connected to the visit of um the Philippines to China. So that's why Sabay Sabay Sila PXP, APX that day. But um, today, uh, PXP fell. Top loser naman ng PXP today. So, PXP, yung mga, di ba daming mga, sa news maraming sinabi na um, like 8 or ten, eight to 10 com China, China companies will invest in the Philippines and uh, they want to look for partners or something. So, naging nabuhay yung mga exploration because that's the, yan, yan naman yung totoong gusto nila ka-partner before, PXP, right? Right? So, APX is the one still stand um, standing, um, the, the one remaining strong. NX, may new store building a power plant, but the chart and the price says it's going down naman. Okay, so doesn't necessarily mean uh, ano. But recently we've seen a lot of stocks, mostly third liners move up, but But we're gonna focus on the one with volume. So this one, 18,000 volume, we will not focus on this. This one also not, this one also in there, this one also in there. MY they want to focus because it's 200, 207 million traded. So here we can see a reversal moving above the 50-day moving average. We can see this indicator is a foreign indicator, meaning if it's down, it's a foreign, net foreign selling. Okay, okay. so now we can see this with heavy volume. So it might reverse. So th those are the signs of reversals. No? LR, partnering with a new shot. It's going to partner with... Um, Someone's a billionaire. I forgot. <laughs> um, F Figaro Group, you yeah, know, dire derecho. So when it moved uh, reverse from 55 cents, it's now at 77 cents. Wow. That's almost 40%. Okay. So ang lakas din ng mga moves nito. Figaro, ngayon, balay. So ito kasama, ito starting pa lang. Tightening up, tatlong move, tatlong moving average, tightening up, turning up, ito crossing up above the 50 day, so it might make an FCG move. So and we saw FCG move somewhere here, 55 balang, right? It's a surplus without volume. Monde, top mover today, is also reversing. So Mark Ventures with a little volume. Most of the stocks that are moving are from the bottom, okay? For meaning the beaten down stocks are moving back yet. So the move top movers also from last week, if I'm not mistaken, was now corporation. We did it lang. But today, um top loser sha. Okay, but it's been going up for since last week. 30% na yata. So yan red. Normal correction. Home is down 7% today. 
this is coming from the reversal also with the law of 144. High of two two twenty five, so that's fifty seven percent up in fourteen days. So now it's um going down, second day down. Um, so it's reversing again. Pinakamalakas is converged because um they had in Singapore, de ba? They had a license to operate in Singapore, so they did not creep up, did not siya. So I was playing the bounce here. We got it at 12, I did a 13, selling to 14, 1450. And um before the new year, sold all, but then the news came out, and then there's another move from 16 to 18. So this is really a big, big move. Okay, let's check out the losers moon now before we move on to the other ones. I had a logistics as a loser today. For no reason at all. All day is a loser, but it's been up already for one, two, three, four, five, six, six days. Okay. Six days up, one, two, three, four, five, five days. The books up. Ace and is down. I think they want some a contract, but um maybe sell on news. MM is down. But it's been up from 119 to 130. Ngayon down na siya. To go, no volume. Um, bull. Up gainer yesterday. So I told my group to sell today at 110. One, because it's uh, up for six straight days. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six days. Six days. Up ng 40% in six days. So that's hard to do, and um, you should just go get and take the money, right? Um, Baldito APL. This is the top gainer for last Friday. It was up sixteen percent, but now it's pulling back. It's in that big range, forming consolidation pattern here. With a lot of volume getting accumulated. So maybe you might see a move here. Um maybe given the momentum indicator, it should take about two to four weeks before it moves higher. So as of now, 0 0.032 will remain as the support and resistance is at 0 0.4. That's a big, big range. In percentage so you can just play the range if you want that's one tip mega wide starting to i know i don't know you can see chp move but bumalik then it was up earlier it was up but now it's uh back up kanina nag 66 uh, like um chr it's uh moving bloom is the one that is really strong since the start of the year up 20 percent for since january 3 so lakas ito, no? mm. urc east west we saw it also move higher Last then BPI all time high 50, 52 week high 106 last week and then um correct the correction what is power also here moving at the near the 52 week high you know kitan kitty resistance so there's a power shortage right so that's why umakatimato SCC let's check it out also moving higher, DMCI holding company of SEC near the 52 week high as well. Um, Rami actually, Tito, Tito Telecom joining the bandwagon. Last in last in from 2.8. Okay, so that's 
That's 24% for the year. Five days pa lang yan. Right? Water. So, uh, so Bitcoin USDT is uh, moving higher. It's now at 17.4. So, kala ko mag break down last year around this area. I thought it was going to break down, but now it's reversing. It's now back at 17. 1448. Um, the one that I like that's driving the Philippine market also as well is the weak um, US dollar. So as long as this one goes, you know, you see from 59 to 54.8, you saw the stock market rally. Okay. Now Jones Industrial rallying, consolidating, but there's a Fed meeting tonight, which is um baka delicado. And Nasdaq is lagging from the tech sector is lagging from the um Dow. Okay. So I think that's it. It's been a good month so far for traders. And um I wish uh to but as, as as i said um in last week um some members premium members that usually we can see a strong start of the year during january to feb malakasian so we should take advantage of it diba? so that's it thank you for watching um i'll see you guys next week bye um premium members i'll see you guys on sunday if you want to join premium membership please email me at boomuniversity at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Ingat.